Hey there, Nick Janitakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to easily configure Vim to deliver text-based slides. This could be useful if you're giving a command line driven or terminal focused talk that's maybe primarily focused on doing live demos, but you do want to show a couple of slides and you don't want to like bring in some heavyweight slide solution. Keep in mind though, we're not going to go over how to display things like images within terminal Vim. So as long as you're totally cool with only being able to show text in your slides as well as emojis as well, if your terminal supports it, then this is the video for you. This is also going to be doable without any plugins at all. Although in my case, I am using the Goyo plugin, which makes it look a little bit nicer. But if you were super hardcore about not using any plugins, then you can just replicate that presentation mode just by you know enabling a couple of settings in Vim. So check this out. Right here, I have this slides directory, and I have a whole bunch of numbered slides that end with VPM. This is a file extension I decided to create, and it stands for Vim presentation mode. And yes, I understand slide number four is missing. I just recently deleted that. So with Vim, you can actually open multiple files at once. So let me just go ahead and open open up every single slide basically. And from here, we're just set up automatically to be in presentation mode. And I'll make sure to move that mouse pointer because who likes to see the mouse pointer in presentation mode? Now, these are example slides I've created for a talk I'm giving in a couple of days about using the command line. I'm not gonna go over or basically like deliver that talk here, but I just wanna show you that, you know, I can cycle through a whole bunch of slides here just by hitting the left and right arrows. And you can see here, like my terminal does support uh, showing emojis here. So we can, you know, spruce things up a little bit. But right now I'm just hitting like left, right, you know, left, right to cycle between these. And uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. And honestly, it was so, so easy to set up. And this might just be the right thing for doing something like a command line driven talk. So with that said, uh, let's take a look here at the VimRC file to make this work. I think if I just do a search for Goyo, we'll find it up here. Yeah, here we go. So we can see here that uh, really it's primarily this function and we have this function run basically when we uh, encounter a VPM file. So these binds right here are, I guess, the secret sauce. It's like so basic, but I guess pretty powerful. And it's actually kind of amazing. Like this is the first time I ever tried to set something like this up where it's like when we open a VPM file, then these binds are, or these mappings are only going to apply to this file type. And uh, this buffer setting here, as far as I understand, will just mean that uh, these binds or mappings are only going to apply to the actual buffer that we're currently on. So if we were to open up something like a Markdown file or a Python file, then these binds wouldn't exist there. So with this auto command here, we're basically saying, you know, every time you open or go onto a buffer that has this file extension, then call this function, this function gets called, then we set up these left and right uh, arrow keys basically just to go to uh, the next and previous files in the buffer because remember we opened up vim with vim star so there's a whole bunch of different files there and actually if i go back to here and we do uh, an ls there you can see that you know we just have all these files open in the background and then we can just switch to them you know using the arrow keys and you can see here like i tried to go back uh, before the first slide and it just wouldn't let me because that's the first file but uh, going back to here uh, you know, also, if you do happen to have Goyo installed, then it just makes it look a little bit nicer. You know, if I jump back here and I disable Goyo mode, then, you know, it kind of looks like regular Vim, right? As if you were editing uh, a Markdown file or a Python file or something like that. But again, like if you really don't want to have Goyo at all, then that's totally fine. You know, you can just set about like seven or eight different settings in your VimRC file to get the same effect. Now, I don't know, this video is pretty short, but that's kind of all there is to it, right? You just dump a whole bunch of VPM files, make one uh, file for each slide that you have, and then you can just cycle right through them. Uh, I don't know, it seems to work pretty well. It's kind of weird because I thought maybe setting something like this, this up in Vim would have been super difficult, but it was kind of just Googling around for like 10 or 15 minutes, chucking these things in my VimRC file, and uh, it's off to the races. So with that said, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer all of them. And with that said, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.